So the current vaccines is have some shortcomings. So we still need to develop much more potent, durable, and has a broad activity against different variants. That stuff have already been done in the early October. And All right. we are looking forward to hearing from them soon. about the latest development of the Chinese COVID pill. Where are you now? At the uh, very beginning of the outbreak, uh, my laboratory at Tsinghua University immediately start to uh, isolate antibodies from the COVID-19 convalescent patients. Uh, we know the antibody is a, a very important part of our immune system that could protect us from infection and the disease progression. So the, the ultimate goal is to isolate those antibodies and select the best among the best, mm -hmm. uh, meaning to have the highest potency and the breath to inhibit viral infections. So those, the best among the best, can be developed into antibody drugs. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, the antibody we isolated from the covalescent patients has already gone through the preclinical and clinical studies and demonstrated the 78% uh, efficacy in reducing deaths and hospitalizations led by the National Institute of Health. It's not practical to do this in China right now, given the caseload is so small. Mm. So the, our colleagues in the United States, in the uh, South Africa, uh, in Mexico, have contributed substantially to this uh, great work. When it could be available, because right now we do see that uh, uh, relevant uh, authorities are giving green lights to vaccines and to treatment pills. This is a very critical question to all of us involved because yeah. safety concern is the most important factor everybody consider. The practical path that we have taken is to conduct the, um, the procedure, regulated procedure, development procedure in a parallel way instead of a sequential way. Mm -hmm. So we could take more risks, but to gain a lot of time in accelerating the process. So you have already submitted the paper to the relevant authorities in China? That's that have already been done in the early October. I All mean, right. we are looking forward to hearing from them soon. So uh, how do you see the treatment pills coming out likely to complement what vaccination has already achieved while at the same time be able to mend the fences? This is an absolutely amazing question. Uh, from the vaccine perspective, regardless of what type of vaccine that we're talking about, we are facing um, a uh, less than 100% protection. This is due to many reasons. First is the vaccine, when you reach a certain level, is weighing down during time. And then also as an emerge, emergence of different variants, and then the vaccine will reduce this potency against those variants. So the current vaccines is have some shortcomings in terms of efficacy against different variants and also not as high as we would wish to be. So we still need to develop much more potent, durable, and, and has a broad activity against different variants. We have a presence of using vaccine and antibody at the same time. Uh, for age, uh, for babies that are born to HPV infected mother, we vaccinate the baby with HPV vaccine and give antibody at the same time.